Thank you so much for coming here today. I was just saying earlier to my first diabetes conference um, and hear my views on the type 2 diabetes management and reversal. It obviously gives me a huge personal and professional satisfaction to be part of this process, but it also makes me very sad and sometimes quite angry when I hear these comments that my patient has been told by health professionals that, you know, for example, you can eat all the lettuce leaves in the world, you won't be able to reverse your, your type 2 diabetes, or that you need to keep taking the drugs for the rest of your life. And for myself, it gives a huge satisfaction and, and joy to, to see people improving their health just with diet and weight loss. If you actually look, we are spending something like 1.5 billion a year in Ireland in just in the treatment of type 2 diabetes and its complications, which is over 10% of the health budget. So, you know, I really would like to empower people and I hope today that I'm able to convince you that type 2 diabetes can be reversed. When you get the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, it's, it's, it can really come as a, as a shock to the system, you know, it's, uh, it, you know it, can, it can get a lot of emotions going and it's not usually helped by the fact that doctors are telling that type 2 diabetes is a chronic progressive disease. And in fact, you know, people are often, you know, uh, starting on a cocktail of drugs which basically are aimed to treat their sugar readings, their blood pressure readings, their cholesterol and basically thin their blood. So this cocktail of drugs is given to people with the aim of reducing and you know basically delaying the complications. But if you look at the international guidelines or all the conferences I go, you know, we always say that lifestyle change weight loss should precede any drug treatment. While exercise is important, um, where type 2 diabetes is clearly coming from the excess fat and especially the excess fat in the middle, exercise will only help maximum 20% to get rid of the excess weight. 80% of the success is for the diet. We have enough evidence that type 2 diabetes is coming from the visceral fat. And obviously when we put all these statistics together, we, we know that Ireland is basically leading in the obesity figures. And since 1997, to 2007, you know, there was 67% increase in overweight and obesity figures. And also our, our type 2 diabetes cases are increasing at the same speed. So how, how we got to this situation that we have um, more overweight and obesity and we have more diabetes? Um, there's a really strong evidence to suggest that this really started in the 70s when we introduced this low fat trend Basically, um, it was suggested that fat was causing cardiovascular disease and because fat also had more calories per gram than carbohydrate, fat was the cause of people getting cardiovascular disease and putting on weight. And then we also gave this, this lovely food pyramid for people to follow, which is very much grain-based. So we told people to eat at least six plus servings of carbohydrates and many of you, if you are type 2 diabetics and you have been in university hospitals, even in Ireland, in, in, and seen dietitians, you, you, I'm sure, have heard the advice that you should have carbohydrates with every meal. But, but there is a new theory now that says that actually bad food creates high levels of insulin. And in fact, in the course of doing my sugar crash program, um, I basically noticed, and while interviewing these experts, you know, they became clear that having high sugar diet it's on its own an independent risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes even if you are not overweight or obese so just having a diet with a lot of carbohydrates is a risk factor of getting type 2 diabetes and, and I had a hard time believing that because I always believe that you need to have a lot of excess weight in order to get type 2 diabetes at the start Type 2 diabetes is characterized by insulin resistance. And this is where, where I get quite angry and, and, and feel strongly when I see some of the you know, information leaflet that comes with the different diabetic drugs and even websites, government 
you know, funded um, official websites where they say that type 2 diabetes is a defect in the insulin production or insulin resistance. Because I think we are actually giving sort of a misleading information to the patients because if you say to patients you have a defect in your, in your insulin production so the body is not producing enough insulin, clearly if the body is not producing enough insulin there's nothing you can do about that. But there's a big difference if the body has an insulin resistance because insulin resistance can be reversed by losing weight. That if you have type 2 diabetes since five years of diagnosis, you can almost guarantee that you can reverse it. After five years, they say it gets less and less possible. While I have seen people, even I have some patients in my Galway clinic who were 18 years on insulin and they were able to come off their insulin. So I have seen amazing stories. It might be that a stone and a half is enough to make you type 2 diabetics where somebody needs to put five stones before they become type 2 diabetics. So we don't know why some people are almost like more allergic to the effects of fat than others. In order to reverse type 2 diabetes, you need to lose weight, you need to get you know, rid of that visceral fat, you need to change your diet, but you also need to change other you know, lifestyle factors like smoking and your alcohol intake because they obviously all affect the way your blood flows um, in your body and affect you know, um, your degeneration of your cells. Um, so this is the modern food pyramid, which is the way I should you know, I, I think that we should basically, you know, advise people to eat. So we should base our diet on the vegetables. And if you look there, I have the, the, the fruit is only on the top there because fruit has fructose, which is fruit sugar, um, and it's a carbohydrate. So diet should be based on vegetables and then we should have protein, meat or fish, and then a little bit of the good fats, and, and as you can see, the grains are quite on the top there. Based on very much on that food pyramid at starting, very low calorie ketogenic diet is basically the diet that, you know, I have been approaching the, the reversal of type 2 diabetes and the weight loss in my clinics um, quite actively since 2004. You know, we have a variety of different diet plans available in our clinics with different calorie deficits. And, and different composition. We don't just have one diet, but very low calorie ketogenic diet would be the treatment and the diet of choice for type 2 diabetics because, because the diet is very low in carbohydrate, less than 50 grams a day, means that your sugar readings don't go up and it allows me to cut down on your medication. And obviously the, the most important thing about the thing is that it gives a huge psychological boost when you lose 10% of your weight um, in, in 40 days and this, this basically can be from a stone and a half to three and a half stone. So that 10% obviously first of all gives you the, the positive feel that something is happening, the diet is working, but also you know makes people have their energy levels come back and get their motivation back and, and often you know it's already enough to get rid of those aches and pains and, and makes you feel that your mobility is coming back. Diabetic drugs are needed for those people who are not willing to change their lifestyle. Um, but what you need to also remember is that there is no chemical compound which only comes with the positive effects. There's always side effect with every drug. These are things that I think you don't need to be a medical doctor, you know, to, to actually realize that drugs have side effects. Uh, one of my, uh, my patient GP said that if the diabetes doesn't kill you, the drugs will. So that's obviously where you ask yourself, you know, is there any win-win situation? I hope I have managed to convince you with this presentation that type 2 diabetes can be reversed. And if it cannot be reversed, weight reduction and changing lifestyle definitely will improve your glucose control and will reduce the medication that you are on and it will increase your life expectancy and delay the development of the complications.